What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, we've started to bash into conventional European forces and we've brought this guy back to intercept Gert Christoph Becker to make sure he doesn't try anything sneaky and push through to, uh, to Transylvania. So without further ado, let's take him out. So I am broadly sticking to my strategy of holding the front line against the Prussians and the Austrians while trying to make gains against the, the Russians to the to the east. The, so the, re the regions aren't massively valuable um, but it will help build up my economy ready to bash through into Central Europe because that will be an expensive endeavour. So, let's create a advancing one line can advance this side of the village actually that's going to be the bulk of my okay this flank's going to be a holding position with my light infantry and a unit of Israeli probably going to leave a unit of pikemen here as well to help protect my guns and my pikes and my Samat Janissaries are going to advance with the line all of my cavalry is going to join them on the flank. My general is going to stay here and coordinate artillery fire. And my howitzers are going to go here. They're going to drop round shot. Now let's kick off. So start the advance. Let's run my cavalry. So these guys are all walking. Let's get my skirmishers to deploy stakes. You guys may decide to A, run and also hunker in square. We've also obviously hit into combat against the Hussars over here. So let's bring this last cavalry unit around the flank charge in. Yeah, thought you were going to do something like that. Let's pull my light infantry back, my pikes in the front line. Infantry can push out a bit further to deploy to square formation. Howitzers just bombard their near forces. There you go, the enemy hussars have been destroyed. Let's push my cavalry up the flank. These men can turn the flank. My janissaries can also push up. These lancers are going to end up getting picked apart by artillery fire more than anything. No, by musket fire, sorry. So let's start deploying my Mamluk guards into the mix. The cover on the right have been felled by a mixture of rifle fire and spikes. Okay, let's get this artillery to hold fire. Let's get my infantry to hold fire, I should say. Let's just get my artillery to stop bombarding the Lanvin militia to the rear. You guys intercept the general. Actually, the howitzers might bombard this Swiss Grenadier unit. Full artillery go after the Lanvin militia. There you go, there goes the foot artillery. Make sure one of my cav units does go for this foot guard unit. Because I do not want... No, you keep going for the general. Okay, let's take... 
now alone. And just start marching them up. Recovery's taking some pot shots, but that's okay. It's worth the, uh, the potential potential kill of a pretty pretty decent Prussian general. Once they're broken, I'm going to ignore them and chase down another infantry unit with them. Well, firstly, just make sure they do go away. Can you chase the militia? You chase down the line infantry. My Mamluk guards are going to wait in the wings. Yeah, they're running towards that militia unit, so let's get them both hacking apart the line infantry while my line advances. Experienced infantry unit too. Three chevrons. These guys back here are just two. Maybe the new baseline is two chevrons. Whereas my infantry is starting up from scratch, I think, more or less. Maybe one chevron of experience, but we've got 39th, they're up to two. has to charge because they're about to get they're about to get well if they don't charge they'll just shoot my cavalry and I don't want to fall back come on kill the last of those cow infantry there's only four of them oh, damn I was hoping they can make the route Can you break away? No, don't break away. Keep hitting them. Because they're wavering. Nope. Close. Pull my Mamluk guards out of there. Unless those guys want to break. Nope. Okay, let's just keep my cavalry out of there. Because there's about to be some musketry inbound. will make them rout. Let's bring the cavalry back. Cavalry can just hack at the Swiss Grenadiers. Run these men. Let's just charge my cavalry into them. Hold fire with all my artillery. Turn all my musketmen off so they aren't going to charge in and they aren't going to open fire and kill my cavalry. Well, run them in, just to make sure this battle ends definitely in my favour. Coming at 33 Grenadiers. Okay, you guys can chill out. Same with my Semat Janissaries, they can get out of the way. Damn right we're going to continue, these guys are Raiders. Or potential future raiders. So we want to make sure these guys get knocked out in pretty quick order. And we've got an absolute bucket load of troops to do it. 47, 43, 42, 41. 31. Keep at it, fellas. Cut down all these German pretenders. Wherever 
you're going. <laughs> but they escaped. Still. Yep, they've been pretty much destroyed. And back they go. Marsh. Spend a little bit of cash trying to fix these guys up just to make sure. Okay. If you're marching back up to Chakask. I would like more forces in general, I think. Especially I'd like one that could put another one that could push up to help support Mr. Ali. Damat Ali. So we're earning 18,000 next turn. It's a lot of cash. Apart from that, I don't think there's anything I just desperately want to do. This guy can block off both routes. So these guys, if they want to route, they route, or if they want to raid my forces, they have to come and hit one of us. So attack is going great. So one more turn till we get the next. Till we get a new farming tech. Let's check. Actually, what was I going to? I was going to check something. That was it. Naval College. That was it. Yeah, you are building the new one, and you are also still waiting on Skup to be built to upgrade the next or to get the next gen um, philosophical technologies. Oh, don't worry, Austria, we have plans for you. And I suspect we will also draw you into the attack here, because your army's pretty weak. You don't want too many small stacks wandering around. Because they can sometimes turn the tide. And they can cause real problems if enough of them get into position. And suddenly before you know it, you are, you are actually surrounded. So let's see how things progress. So we did have a good plan last time, where it worked quite well. So two howitzers hunker down in the centre. Obviously we've lost some men across the board, but it's not critical. What does it mean for guards in the centre? Actually, our forces across the board are actually much lighter than I remember. But I doubt it will be too critical of a deficiency, because we do have our big Janissary units. If they attempt to push. And we've got our Sekban Janissaries as well. They're also melee infantry. You go stay in the centre. The leftover. Got a Mamluk guard who's going to stay outside. Weak cavalry is going to stay outside. Camels are going to stay outside. They're all, all these guys are going to stay outside. For now, at least. We've got some foot artillery, which we discovered if I deploy them far back enough, they can actually engage. We've got a couple of decent blocks of troops to cover up any breaches that do get there. The do get made and my general's going to be in the center. Sweet. Okay, let's get actually get these guys inside because it looks like there's going to be enemies attacking more directions. Our f foot artillery is they've already knocked out one of the guns. Fire carcass shot onto whoever you can hit. So there's a few cavalry units. I doubt their ability to make a breach. Because it's not going to take too many volleys from our foot artillery just to knock these guns out completely. There you go, comes another volley. Two trading teams down. Killed another crewman. Carcass shot coming in. Excellent shot there. So what other enemies do we have coming in? We've got some cavalry, we've got some almost destroyed cavalry units. Horse grenade guards, 25 men strong. 
Over at the back, you've got a full unit of Western European mercenaries. And then over here is the Austrian contingent. Drawn into battle when they didn't want to be. Light horse, light horse. Uh, should we least Austrian reinforcements. So obviously we are against a combined force. These guys are a bit more together, but I doubt they're going to be enough. Foot artillery continues to engage. So let's speed up time. Because right now it's just going to be a few good volleys. Good set of kills. Apparently we killed the enemy general from a miss while trying to target the horse artillery. Turns out the one guy we killed from this cavalry unit is the general himself. Good. Good, they're down to one gun. Okay, let's put another unit up on these walls that can shoot. Carcass shot's doing the work, doing some good stuff for us. God, what a miss. It misses by a huge amount. It happens to be the spot where there's a bunch of... And again, Grenadier Guards. Because they are aiming for the horse artillery. Let's double check that. Okay, you're deciding whether or not you want to actually attack them. So let's, there we go, that's what we want. Maybe it's just the two guns. Two guns is better than none. Yeah, you want to tra charge, but there's nowhere to charge. Ooh, that's a that's an excellent hit there. So much so, you're probably going to start aiming for these other more intact units. Mm -hmm. These devils are not going to last for very long. General's, Prussian generals getting sniped out from range. Their artillery is bugged and is no longer engaging. Okay, you cannot shoot at them, you're too close. So keep start dropping carcass shot on the general. Because these guys are hitting the these guys are hitting the uh, armory. These two guns though. They can engage at range. Excellent hit. The army is... That unit is devastated. Damn right you're broken. Still a bit close. Okay, that unit might actually be able to try and target... Some of these reinforcing units. So let's speed up time just to watch them pivot. Oh no. It looks like they're out of range because they're targeting different units. There you go. The Marines have now just a load of men. They've lost a load of men. General's bodyguard is routing. coming back. We need one good hit. One good hit on this gun knocks it out completely. Although now's definitely the time to try and hit these men pushing around the flank. It's probably time I should be spending running up infantry to man cannons to engage them. 
en route. Okay, I'm definitely going to speed up time right now because the enemy force is currently incredibly weak and it's just sat back here as it's mostly cavalry trying to peck its way in. Ah, the marines, the marines came back. God damn, both those guys got hit by a massive hit. Of, oh god, they lost 130 men in one volley. Hey! Oh, I was about to say the first bad guys. Okay, let's get my get some Samant Janissaries up here to wait on top of the on top of the uh, assaulting position. They're probably going to come back, but when they do, there's going to be a bunch of guys with swords waiting for them. Let's so speed up time. What's more? Okay, yeah. So we're starting to run out of. Carcass shot targets. So these men charging a wall alone. These poor Western European mercenaries. Okay, let's. Okay, yeah, most of those targets are way too close. My howitzers may have to drop. Sit here firing round shot. The enemy cavalry. Ah, the European mercenaries are trying. They're wavering as they get to the ladders. Then one almighty cannon blast down is enough to see them off. These gentlemen are continuing their charade, so let's just. I'm yeah, I'm going to speed up time. Aim at just aim at this unit of general's bodyguard because these guys are all getting a bit close, and then you can target them with carcass shot. So these guys will break because they're getting pecked out from the walls, and then shooting units up on the walls is not usually a very good idea. We're just going to engage the units that are silly enough to come close. Yeah, the 17th, just they're gonna route. Hey, they actually took they actually came back. Well not came back, they were wavering, and they went all the way back to steady. So they're routed. Keep picking at the infantry positions first. It will definitely help. God damn. Miss nearly hits them. Okay, so they've got. Okay, so I think. The problem is they've got. They've still got a way in. So let's focus our attention on. Killed another general. It's probably someone close by. Focus our artillery on engaging. Okay, let's get you over here, let's get you over here. Because there is a general in that unit. So I'm speeding up time so much, but there's nothing really going on. This guy's gonna die. Oh, so close. Yeah, like the main problem is they've got lots of. They've still got infantry. So the AI still thinks they can get in and win. What you need to do is knock out their infantry. So they don't have the... so they lose the... Uh, they, they, they'll have an army of just cavalry and no way in. So these men are going to be enough probably to eventually see off that regiment. waiting for the ninth light horse to get in range. Excellent hit. Just 
just keep bombarding them, I think, is the objective. They can't get in otherwise. Come on, if you guys are firing your guns, you get them. There we go. So now it comes a battle of chipping away their morale. Or I could just tally out or give them something to uh, to chase, which might not be a not chase, but you know. Put some mortar and some israeli out there. Get these guys over here. Give them something to try and attack. Don't quite know where these guys are going. Are they going to go... Okay, they're stuck on the door. So, yeah. Empire Pathfinding, in a nutshell. You could go through the gate, but instead you're going to climb around the gate, up the wall, down the ladder. Okay. Just deploy my cavalry. So it's just one last unit of horse grenadier guards on foot. There we go. They routed anyway. So let's take the victory. Yep, yeah, lost them all. We killed them all with only losing 93 men. So those forces are destroyed and you are pushed back. Aha! You are attempting to flank and do something annoying. As is the AI way. I think there's definitely a case to build up more to build up another army or a few armies to be honest let's be let's be real because right now we are firefighting against smaller armies <laughs> Our priests are going to be helping quite nicely. Help, well, helping to cause an amount of civil unrest. But yeah, I need two armies recruited. Oh, and they're blockading us with one random errant ship. So let's go take them out. Because trade... Trade is incredibly trade is incredibly useful because it's worth a huge amount of money, but it's very very fluctua fluctuating. You never want to be an economy dependent on trade ever. Trade is a useful option, but I always find it to be a fickle friend. So I've already got a guy going to Moscow. Let's get some guys to start looking. Up in inside Russia itself. As well as you fixing Chakask. You maybe head towards Astrakhan itself. And I start to recruit another army. So let's just pick up a general here. Ahmed Ismail. Head en route to Chakask. Where you will be met by two Royal Mamluk Guards. I do have a limit to that, to how many I can get. And a Camel Nomads, I think, is a good idea. Ooh. Okay. And Sip Sipahi. Let's pick up. 324 pounders. Let's pick up. 324 pounder howitzer artillery. And let's start to. Ooh. Some funky looking irregulars. Not sure I need them yet, but where's my infantry? So 
sick about Janissaries, Serady, Pedic, Sema, sick about Janissaries. There they are. Five tens. So this army, it's an army that's going to take a while to build up. But that's not terrible. Who have we got here? Just a privateer. Privateer with the ship of Vladimir. You go take him out. Not take them into service. Let's just uh, accept the money. So 780 cash. Let's bring him back to Anatalia. So they just about made their money back. Okay, so what? Do, how do you want to play this? We definitely want to reinforce you guys. You can go a large way to intercepting. That's all cavalry. Could definitely do with pikemen. Hmm. I think the best option is try and run these guys south. That's my favourite option. But if I do that, maybe I can tag them as a reinforcing army. If they push in this direction, they'll raid this mine. Which is frustrating, but you gotta... Gotta do it. Okay, these guys can start to pick up some units, but they can only realistically recruit what is available in Istanbul. So they probably want... Two howitzers. They're going to get heavier cavalry, because they're in the front. And let's get two unit of... Nizam said it, light infantry. So two turns, they'll be fairly balanced again. And let's spend the last 6,000 on uplifting our economy. So mines... not mines. Wineries aren't, aren't bad. Prosperous trade port is a very good thing to buy. Let's probably pick up a craft workshop in Chukask. Then a mic op in 15 turns is going to be finished, which is here. Do you get two towns? Just the one by the looks of it. Yeah, so our priests uh, or our imams are on the way. Just keep pushing. Okay. So we've got advanced irrigation as a technology. You, instead of doing that, you're going to go for one of these, such as free trade doctrine. Start to rebuild. Let's start to build up some uh, later game technologies. Let's move these infantry up to the farmland just to get them a bit nearer the front because these guys could actually get smashed by a, a lot of forces so I really want him there he does cover around the flank which is good and he also covers this city this star fort I definitely do want to keep reinforcements near, but I want to take this army. See, so it's going to be followed up with a Russian force. Okay, now you're, you're not. Okay, you weren't previously not being taxed, now you will be taxed. Let's just get my Imam into, into the city. Growing Islam, knocking down religious unrest. Let's take this army and go hit Daniel Hirsch. Oh, he's pretty depleted anyway. Um, maybe he does go on and take them then. Let's go. Yeah, just take them out. That's okay. You guys mark back to Ayasi. You might get intercepted by the Russians. You guys knock him out. Oh, what? I say you guys knock him out, not push them somewhere more annoying. 
and they're not going to take the town. But I can't recruit anything, so your job is to chase after them. You guys can't beat them either. Well, you might. It's only one unit of cavalry, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.